Hey guys, this is Caster. Welcome back. We are going to be reviewing the new weapon or the new melee rework and the new Kuva, whatever you want to call this. I'm not going to try because they're not trying to spell and I'm not trying to pronounce. Um, we're going to be looking at the new Kuva weapon. Uh, we're going to be looking at the heavy attack changes because they got rid of channeling. Heavy attacks for every weapon adds a certain amount of percentage uh, damage to your your attack that it was so right now we'll be doing about uh, without armor we're going to be doing about a thousand damage per combo multiplier so combo multiplier times two is a thousand six hundred and fifty four times three is um is going to be uh 32 or 3200 ish 3300 and uh where it scales up from there okay every weapon has their own let's look at Dacro Prime. We're going to look at Dacro Prime. It has... I hate the red. Uh, we're going to be looking at 850. So it'll be 850 and then uh, 1500 and so on and so forth. So they scale up on per combo multiplier you have. Whenever you have a combo multiplier, so we'll go and demonstrate that real quick with these guys. Uh, combo multiplier... You get, let's say, wailing on him, wailing on him. Oh, cool, we got times five. Let's let's hit him. Bang. Come multiplier's gone. That did a lot of damage to this guy without mods. This is without mods. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to go look at the with mods. So, I really hate having the combo multiplier and then you lose it because everyone's used to having blood rush and building for that high combo multiplier and getting all those red crits and all that stuff. But what happens if we forget about Blood Rush and we look at some of the new changes to the mods that Digital Extremes gave us? So we're going to be looking at Killing Blow, Focus Energy, and Reflex Coil. And uh, Amalgam Organ Shatter because uh, this is going to help us with the heavy attack, uh, attack speed along with this one. So this will be 120% attack speed for the heavy attacks. So... Killing Blow adds 120% damage to our heavy attack, okay? Focus Energy adds 40% combo efficiency. That makes it to where we don't lose our entire combo multiplier. Binding that with this, we, we're supposed to get 100%, but that would be 2 OP, not losing your combo multiplier at all. That would be a little broken, so they made it towards 90, caps off at 90%. So, you lose about one combo multiplier per attack that you do. So, with all of these, we can use the heavy attacks to our advantage. So, let's uh, kill these guys. Let's spawn in. I want to spawn in something a little, a little heavier. So, we'll spawn in these guys. Corrupted Bombard. Uh, disclaimer, I should tell you this. Uh, I am using an aura mod that is helping me, but it is... An interesting one. So, Swift Momentum, they just added this. You can get in Arbitrations, uh, RNG, or you can go buy it for like 10 plat or 5 plat or whatever. It's super cheap. Uh, adds 30% combo charge rate. Meaning, if you are hitting your, if you're wailing on the guys, normally you have to get 256 hits, or no, 240 hits to get times 12. Okay? Or 220 or something like that. This makes it to where you only have you have to get 30% less to get that full uh, times 12. I'll show you here in a second. And then it adds 6 seconds to your combo duration. So it, it helps. I'm probably going to be using it from now on because it's awesome. And I didn't think there was use for it until we got uh, this update. So we're going to start wailing on these guys. Times four, times five. I usually around times eight or nine. Okay, we're at times ten. We're going to start wailing. Oh, he fell off the edge. But as you can see... This hurts them a lot. And obviously the more you do it, the less damage it's going to do. So you'll have to 
charge it back up and then start wailing on them again. But, as you can see, uh, using the new heavy attacks actually does pretty good. Uh, we're, I'm going to show you what uh, some of the other weapons can do, but I personally really like this new hammer. I won't be using it because, uh, as if you guys have been a fan of the channel for a little bit, uh, as you know, I love my Daiku. And the Daiku has a special amalgam mod that allows 3% uh, lifesteals for Nakatas. So, Skijeti counts as Nakata. I wish Tatsu did, because Tatsu is way more powerful, but it doesn't. So, I use Nakatas. But I'm going to show you what a dagger does. So, dagger... And let me show you the build, because uh, the build's pretty, pretty much the same. But uh, we will be doing this. We are not using Covert Lethality, because we do not need finisher damage. We're just... Or just killing them. We don't need to finish them. So, about the same build, uh, we are going to go and attack these guys. Uh, we are going to go into dedicated melee mode. I love this. And we're gonna we're gonna just build up our combo multiplier a little bit, just a little bit. This guy doesn't need actually too much because we can just we can just spam it real quick. This guy doesn't really need a uh, times 10 or whatever. It's pretty freaking sweet. Uh, yeah. Uh, the most powerful weapon I've seen so far with uh, the heavy attacks, heavy attack combo is the Orthos, funny enough. So I am super lazy. I'm not going to form this enough to fill in this last slot. You guys can fill in that last slot with whatever you want. I... One mod less in this thing is still more powerful than most other stuff. So we're going to go into dedicated melee mode. It's awesome. And we're going to... Get a... Get a decent combo multiplier up. And then we're going to start... This thing kind of speaks for itself. Um, I don't care what anyone says about the new update. The melee changes alone are pretty awesome. Um, yeah. I think it's awesome. I tested a lot of the other weapons. They behave about the same. They're just a lot more powerful. Um, I did test the Stigma on Tanthus. It's, it's weird. This weapon's weird. And I think there's a bug with uh, the... Uh, with the combo multiplier on this one, but I'll let digital extremes decide. So, this guy, we're going to get, by the way, this gets a lot of hits really quick. Alright, so we're going to start, ah, heavy attacks. So yeah, this kind of, it's slower, but it hits a lot harder than some of the other ones. But as you can see, the bug, we're still at times 10. It never went down. So, I don't know what's up with that. I really... I don't know if it's a bug or if it's because it's getting so many hits that it's adding to the combo multiplier perfectly. I don't know, but uh, I... Digital Extremes needs to fix that because it makes this thing really powerful. Um... Yeah, it's it, it it needs to be fixed. It's not a problem because it's not the most powerful melee, but it needs to be fixed that way. It's working with the rest of them. Cause yeah, so we're at times twelve, and then we're just gonna bang, 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 bang. Not not going down. It's acting like we're getting the perfect amount of hits to add not add to the combo multiplier, but 
keep it sustained. So, yeah. I really would like them to fix that because it just makes this thing really fun. Um, something you should know, I was rolling... I was rolling the ribbon for this because I wanted to see if I could get something better. Uh, you can get some... Uh, you can get some pretty interesting uh, stats now for melees. Uh, the the internal combo. Okay, uh, I'm going to get a mod to explain what... Actually, we're going to put this guy on just to show you what it does. So, we're going to pull this out. See in the bottom right hand corner, see how we got the plus 18 right there? You're probably wondering, well, you haven't hit anything. Why do you have 18? Because... The new something they added is you can actually have preloaded amounts of combo multiplier on your weapons. So we're gonna search up combo. Uh, where are you? Ah, right here. This guy. This is the only one I could find. I'm sure sure there's more somewhere, but this is the only one I could find. Adds 30. Adds 30 more. So now we should have we have 48. So we have an automatic times three attack on this for a heavy attack. So yeah, we get an automatic times three without it draining. It will never drain. It's times three all the time. So that's something to keep an eye out for in your uh, ribbons. If you're building for heavy attacks, look for the internal combo because that can... That can do a lot if you're if you're smart about this. But yeah, it's I like the I really like this new update. Uh, shout outs to Digital Extremes for this new ephemera that we got from the Kuva Liches. This is a lightning ephemera. Not I'm sure there's probably a few thousand people that have them, but it's vengeful charge ephemera. It has cool sound effects and lightning that like static electricity that just goes everywhere. It's really cool. I like it. Um, but yeah, uh, update good, bad. I think it's awesome. Yeah. I've seen some people, uh, complain about, uh, the update. I really, I really don't care what other people think. I kind of like having my own opinion and as should you. So if you like this video, Leave a like and subscribe and I will be doing more videos like this. See you guys later.